Early experiments in the first half of the 20th century showed that the balance between fat and carbohydrate use depends on how hard you're working. During easy exercise, like a gentle walk, you burn mostly fat from the supplies circulating in your bloodstream. As you speed up, carbohydrates are used to an increasing extent. By the time you're breathing heavily, the proportions have flipped and you're burning mostly carbohydrate. The precise blend depends on a variety of factors. The fitter you are, for example, the greater the proportion of fat you burn at any given speed, simply because maintaining a given speed gets easier as you get fitter. No matter how fit you are, you'll burn the same fat-carb mix at any given relative intensity. Eating a diet high in either fat or carbohydrate also tilts your preferred fuel mix in that direction. But even taking these factors into account, carbohydrates dominate for any intense exercise. One study found that over the marathon distance, running at a 2 hour 45 pace relied on 97% carbohydrate fuel, while slowing down to 3 hours 45 minute pace reduced the carbohydrate reliance to 68%. As we've discussed, the sources of those carbohydrates mainly include your liver, which can store between 400 and 500 calories of glycogen for use throughout the body, and your leg muscles, which can store about 2000 calories. That's why it's useful to eat a small breakfast a few hours before a morning marathon. Provided you have maintained your energy balance over the days leading up to the race, your glycogen stores in your muscles will be fully stocked, but your liver glycogen gets depleted because it fuels your energy hungry brain while you sleep. So you need to top that back up right before your race. As you run, your muscles can also dip into the glucose circulating in your blood, though this is only a very small amount. The upshot is that a well-prepared athlete might be able to store 2,500 calories of carbohydrate. Running a marathon though, for a runner weighing just under 70 kilos or 11 stone, takes around 3,000 calories, most of which will come from carbohydrate if you're racing as fast as you can. Harking back to the human body as a machine view we talked about before then, that means you either need to refuel your carbohydrate stores along the route or risk the well-known but dreaded phenomenon of hitting the wall.